Hi friends. So guys, I'm back with a new video again. So as promised, I have said that in the previous video that I'm going to do one more video in which I'll, I'm going to tell you about the common mistakes which students do in their IELTS speaking. So guys, our today's video is all about those mistakes and I'm going to tell you what are those mistakes and we should definitely avoid making those mistakes in our IELTS speaking because if we make those mistakes in our IELTS speaking, then for sure our band score is definitely going to be affected so guys without wasting any further time let's start this lesson okay so my name is sanya and i welcome you all in this video as well with a very warm heart so guys let us have a look at these mistakes all right so this is a list which i have prepared and i have observed many students doing this mistake quite often during their speaking practice as well so the first mistake is giving memorized answers okay so now it happens in ielts speaking many a times okay so when someone starts preparing for the ielts examination so we as a trainers and we as teachers always advise our students to start reading about different topics because uh, any topic can be asked to you okay so it is very important that you should have lot of ideas with you so now it happens many a times while you are reading particular thing so that two or three sentences are quite catchy okay and it becomes really easy for us to you know remember those sentences but if in the real examination a question is being asked to us and we feel that oh wow that's the same question about which i have read and if you are thinking you know that i'm just going to speak that particular answer which i have read so guys let me tell you it will not take a second for the examiner to judge that you are giving them a um, giving him or her a memorized answer and that is going to affect your band score so guys we never give memorized answer not even a sentence we don't even speak one memorized sentence in our ielts speaking okay because the examiners are highly qualified and trained and they'll definitely get to know because that you are giving a memorized answer because there is a lot of difference between spoken english and written english our main mode objective is to present our own ideas and views and that too in our own language all right so this mistake should be avoided now next mistake which we have is parroting the question now i'm sure all of you must have understood okay when i have said parroting the question so say for example examiner has asked me what is or are your hobbies okay so what do students do my hobbies are listening to music and reading books so what have they done they started parroting the question means they have you know followed the same structure which is in the question the same word as well in the question no we have to paraphrase the question which is being asked to us okay so maybe i can say reading books and listening to music are the things which interests me the most okay so i have used a synonym for hobbies here as well and i have talked about my hobbies first and i have said these are the things which interests me the most means i feel very happy all right when i listen to music or when i read books so we never parrot the question okay we try to paraphrase it effectively just like in the same manner we do it in our writing all right now the next mistake which students quite often do in their ielts speaking is that they say i don't understand and it mostly happens when an when the examiner has asked you something and you didn't understand okay so students straight away say i don't understand so we don't do this that's fine if you have not understood the question because definitely it's a human brain okay so sometimes it doesn't work or sometimes you know we started to feel nervous if we have not answered the previous question correctly and if we feel that it was not up to the mark so don't worry guys okay for this i'm going to share a technique with you that you can use if in in, in that particular situation when you are unable to understand a question but make this a thumb rule that you are never going to say i don't understand okay so the next problem or the next mistake is of 
poor pronunciation now i'm sure all of you must be knowing what pronunciation is so pronunciation actually means the correct way of pronouncing the words okay now in english okay there are a lot of words okay and the words are in different forms and as the word changes its form its pronunciation also gets different okay and even there are so many words which we use on daily basis but we tend to pronounce them wrong and if we do the same thing in our ielts speaking then our band score is going to affect there as well though examiner will understand what you are supposed to say or what you want to say but you will be marked under poor pronunciation because 2.25 band is strictly given to you for your pronunciation and i have done two videos on pronunciation so i suggest you if you have not watched those videos so do watch those videos guys all right now next mistake which students or most often do is they just remain silent okay so say for example examiner has asked you a question you have understood the question properly but you don't know what to say okay it's such a difficult question you don't have ideas with you so in those particular situations what do students do they just remain silent they don't speak anything and guys in english okay if you remain silent for more than 5 seconds so it is considered negative all right so i'm going to share one technique for this problem as well. well okay but not here maybe in the another video so first we look at the another common mistake so the next mistake is saying too much or saying too little now this mistake you know i guess it is done by a majority of students okay because either they give too long answers or either they give too short answers because in part 1 i suggest my students to give 5 uh, to 6 sentences or 4 to 5 sentences answers okay that will be enough for part 1 and if i talk about part 3 then 7 8 sentences or 6 7 sentences are quite enough for Part part three as well, and in Q card, which is your part two, you'll definitely have to speak for two minutes. So we should maintain the length of the questions. It should not be like that. We have spoken so much in. first question and we have just merely spoken a sentence in the second question no so you know you have to maintain the length of your answers as well they should be of equal length for part 1 and for part 3 as well all right next up is repeating the same word all right now this happens when students don't have a good command on vocabulary okay so they keep on repeating one word which they know for example if they want to describe a happy moment from their life so they just use the basic word happy again and again again and again in their speaking no we don't have to do that we have to use the synonyms in our i'll speaking because in i'll speaking we are also given band score for our vocabulary and if you keep on using the one same word again and again in your speaking test so this will show the examiner that you are not fluent in vocabulary your vocabulary is not well developed so guys Guys, try to gather synonyms for the words. Okay. Now, the last mistake is students try to copy the accent. Okay. So they feel that if we will speak in British accent or American accent, so we'll get a better band score or our band score will increase. But this is completely wrong this doesn't happen okay guys we are not the native speakers of english english is not our mother tongue our mother tongue is uh, hindi okay so how hard we try we'll never be able to copy the accent so we don't have to copy the accent just speak what your natural accent is we always speak in our natural accent just like i'm speaking right now i'm not trying to copy american accent or british accent i'm just speaking in my normal accent which is my natural accent all right so you are not given score for your accent all right you are just for your pronunciation for your vocabulary for your fluency and for for your grammar you are not being judged for your accent but remember not to use any hindi word in your ielts speaking all right because if you use that then might be your band score will get affected so guys these are the few common mistakes which students most often do in their ielts speaking and now you have watched this lesson i'm sure you all must 
those who are watching this lesson you all will not do or will not repeat these mistakes if you are doing them as well till now while practicing for your IELTS speaking so i am going to make videos okay for few of the problems which are listed here and i suggest you to watch those videos as well because they'll definitely going to help you in problems when you are unable to understand something or when you are going to remain silent so guys this is it for the video thanks for watching the video if you found the video helpful do like it subscribe to the channel comment as well and guys i'll see you in the next video till then bye and take care